day viewers you are welcome to another edition of political view on your favorite online tv Lebanon tv i am your host Olua Femi Oloyeniko and here with me Esther Ololuwa Sukum and together we'll be looking at a very important discussion which has to do with the achievements of this present administration and also comparing it with the previous administration and leaving the rest for you viewers at home to decide whether this present administration or the previous one has done better in giving them what they really desire. In my own submission, this present administration has done a lot. They have done a lot in terms of infrastructure, in terms of unemployment, a lot of graduate youth have been gainfully employed through the program of the End Power Project. This project has really engaged a lot of youth, a lot of graduates, some that have graduated for long and some that are graduating daily. Aside the issue of em employment, this administration also has done a lot in terms of infrastructure. If you look at Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the project has been abandoned for a very long time. But since the inception of this government, they have taken it upon themselves to make sure the project is uh, put in place, is ongoing. And also, if you look at the railway transportation as well, before now, you can count the number of railway uh, companies or uh, outlets that are working, that are in full operation. But since the inception of this government, they have been able to put in place a lot of railway uh, uh, transportation in place. Let us look at the Abuja Metro uh, Railway. It's a, a very laudable project. Also, the Lagos uh, 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 to Ilori or to Quara Railway it has also been put in place. So, a lot can be said of this government, which uh, I don't think previous government can uh, uh, claim to have done. Let us also look at the revenue generated. If you look at the gener uh, revenue generated by this government, it has increased compared to what it used to be. Uh, the issue of uh, revenue has increased. Taxation has also increased, let's say, by 51% from the statistics. So to tell you that from the previous government, a lot of these uh, funds go into the thin air without accountability. Don't know where those funds are going to. But this present uh, administration has been able to put in place measures to make sure that every loopholes are being blocked so that every fund are accounted for. Likewise, the issue of the oil uh, revenue. This uh, present government has been able to generate $93 billion, so to say. So, and with this, they've been able to channel it to various places like the issue of the power. Before now, our uh, megawatt used to be in the region of 2,000, 3,000. But with this present administration, they've been able to generate um, 6,000 to 7,000 as, as I'm talking to you right now, which in the past, it, it's not like that. Before now, you used to complain of paying for darkness. But these days, pay for what you use. So I will I allow my colleague here to say some of the achievements of the past government. And you, you as at home, can then decide which of the uh, governments has been able to do more? Yeah, the good luck Jonathan administration, which was the past government, as the past administration in Nigeria, was slightly transforming Nigeria from its dark ages of underdevelopment to a 21st century economic and political force. During this administration, promotion and practice of true democracy by creating an enabling, enabling environment where people from diverse backgrounds and diverse views and opinions can be accommodated. You can imagine, during this administration, 
people from different places have the right to come outside to express themselves, which was not inclined before. Then the conduct of free and fair elections, that is no fighting, no killing in the election, happened during the administration of the past president. Related non-interference with electoral, electoral and judicial matters. Yes, during this period, electoral and judicial matters issues, you know, during the past president, would we hear about breaking of chairs, train of chairs, during meetings, but during this administration, it was totally reduced. I mean, totally reduced, because you can't say there is no war. There is, but it was to a minimum. Then opening up of Nigeria to a global business community, and you know which economy Nigeria is moving. And becoming what African number one destination of foreign investors in the first six months of 2014, which is the during what administration of Good Luck Jonathan. Under this same Good Luck Jonathan administration, Nigeria rebased its GDP for the first time in over a decade to become the largest economy in Africa, overtaking South Africa and Egypt in the process. Initiation of U Win program in 2011, the Youth Enterprise with Innovation of Nigeria program aimed to generate over 100,000 jobs for innovative unemployed youths across the country in the course of three years. It is currently in its third year. Also on the same one, administration of Good Luck Jonathan. Good Luck Jonathan administration is the one behind the revival of the dead automotive industry in Nigeria. The global auto giants like the Peugeot, the Nissan, the Ayonda, now either assembly or only manufacturer, small cars, Sports utility vehicles, truck, buses at various locations in Nigeria. Under the same Good Luck Jonathan administration, Nigeria became the first country in West Africa to hold the World Economic Forum in 2014. African richest man, Aliko Dangote's net worth increased from 2.1 billion US dollar at the start of Good Luck Jonathan's administration. Construction and beautification of many federal roads in the country, including the Lagos Bini Expressway, Abuja Lokoja Expressway, Enugu Abakaliki Expressway, Onisha Wari Highway, and most parts of Enugu Port Harcourt Expressway. Also, construction of the second Niger Bridge between Onisha and Asaba to relieve the pressure on the old Niger Bridge which was completed in December 1965. Revival of Kanato's railway system of transportation in the country is happening under the same Good Luck Jonathan's administration. Computerization education, that's computerizing education in the country with the introduction of ICT and also computer-based tests, CBT, which, we mandatory, which was mandatory for all UTME in 2015, and it is still on till now, on started under Good Luck Jonathan's administration. Nigeria has reduced its food imports by over 40% as of 2013, moving the country closer to self sufficient in agriculture under Good Luck Jonathan's administration. Due to favorite economic policies, internet penetration in Nigeria has now increased from about 45 million in 2011 to 63 million in 2014, overtaking countries such as United Kingdom and France in the process. As the second quarter of 2014, the number of registered active telephone number lines in Nigeria stood at 130 million out of a total over of 170 million telephone lines. Introduction of the Nigeria Electric Identity Card, EID card, one of the most secure in the world, the largest in Africa, served as both an international ID card module and electrical payment solution started under this same administration. Introduction of cashless system, which aims to encourage the use of e-payment system in the country and reduce the volume of physical cash in circulation started under this 
administration. Women in politics has been given more prominent rules in the current president, in then president good luck, Jonathan administration, a large number of federal appointees of good luck Jonathan administrations are women. They include, but are not limited to, Ungazi Okonjo Inweala, Miriam Aroma Mata, Nigeria's first female chief judges, Dezani Alizo Madweke, ex evasion minister, Stella Odwa Joy Agu, Nigeria's representative at the United Nations, Sarah Jubril, and Vola on Wiri. Now, viewers, I want you to judge accordingly. That is the administration of Good Lord Jonathan. The things he has achieved and the revenue he has gathered. And he has said for the present God president, which is President Muhammadu Buhari. Well, uh, from what she has said, I believe uh, she mentioned uh, Dangote. Uh, the, the, the stock or the uh, income rising during the um, President Goodluck uh, regime. But I don't see what that has, has got to do with uh, achievements uh, economically of a country. Yes, it is good that someone uh, of uh, Aliko Dangote's caliber is growing in stature, growing financially and all of that. But what has that got to do with the achievement of the government itself? It also mentioned women giving uh, opportunity in politics. Yes, even this present administration has given a lot of women opportunity to showcase themselves, their uh, potentials. But in the past, even some of them that were given uh, opportunity, misused them, and some of them have been chased about. Uh, by, by EFCC and all of that. I'm not saying women are not good in power or no, but I'm telling you that even in this present administration, women are given opportunity. But to it buy. started from Good Luck Jonathan's administration. Definitely, it will start from somewhere, and I'm not. It, and I'm it's not part sure. of his achievement. And I'm not even sure it started from. It her. is also part of his achievement. It has started because it gave these women opportunity, a prominent opportunity. Since you can imagine the past presidents. Sorry, I cut him off. The past presidents, they don't have females don't have opportunities. They are usually under the mill. They will tell you you should be the right hand of your husband, just giving advice and not standing as a person to talk. As a prominent person in Nigeria, even so many posts we are not given to women there. But in, during his own administration, in, women we are given a lot of in opportunities. This, in this present, yes, because he has laid down as it were the foundation. He is still the founder, the foundation yes. of the, of and, the women giving the posts an opportunity. Do I have a post in what? I'm not disputing that. He may, give, he may have given a lot of women opportunity. Even in this present administration, a lot of women have taken positions of authority. And um, it, that doesn't mean uh, women are, are bad or, or that's what I'm trying to say. No, women are still in power. Even this coming election, you see about four or five women that are coming out as presidential aspirants. To tell you that this present administration as well does not relegate the importance of women. And also, uh, uh, among the achievements of this present administration, they have also made sure that inflation reduced to the barest minimum. Before now, you used to see money everywhere. But if you recall, viewers, under this same administration of President Goodluck Jonathan, Nigeria won the African Cup of Nations. Yes, for the first time in 19 years in yes. South Africa, it's in February 2013. It's an achievement. Yes, what are we now saying? I'm not disputing that. But I'm telling you the, uh, the, the, the achievement that will affect the citizen, the achievement that will affect the common man. And if you can also recall, viewers, Nigeria is the most largest producer of cassava. With an output of over 45 million metric tons um, in yeah. 2014, according to the Food and Agricultural Organization 
of the United Nations FAO in Nigeria and under the same administration and of good and, and, yet, and yet Nigeria still produce cassava like any other country. So it is also an achievement under his administration. Yes, even this present government is given a lot of attention to agriculture. So even some food that we import regularly, to hear of a border being closed, not just for closing sake, is to encourage our local farmers here to produce rice. So a lot of funds have been channeled to the agricultural sector now so that the farmers can produce rice, cassava, wheat, and all of that. And even farmers enjoy grants from the government. They are given fertilizer to grow their crops and all of that. So, and also, this government has also supports the uh, different states, the 36 states. This government has given support to, to them. You hear a lot of times that, okay, some workers, uh, some states are not able to pay their staffs and all of that. But this government has been magnanimous and has given money, bailout funds to states to pay their salary because salary, uh, or what do I put it, a worker is deserved of his wages. So he has, he has been so magnanimous to that extent that, okay, uh, he's not only going to be uh, focused on uh, maybe Abuja alone or international affairs alone. Also, what goes But around, if you can recall, under this same good Dr. Jonathan's administration, liberalization of press and guaranteeing the freedom of speech in a country where the stifling of the press and suspension of the citizens' rights to freedom of speech used to be the norm. A legacy of over 30 years of military rule. Yes, that's it. The existence of local and anti-government media houses that and is, That is in the military have... rule, not in the... This is the, also an achievement under that good luck, yes, in and the, the, the democratic setting. So, freedom of expression, freedom of speech has to be given recognition. So, to have started from his uh, regime is not a, a, a big deal, which has continued even in this dispensation. And also, to round off, this government also has been able to give uh, farmers support, the, 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 the small-scale farmers. He has given them support. They have given them... Well, you know that started from good old Jonathan's thought and administration. I will not agree with that. Yes, he has to agree, he, yes. He has started from when democracy started. No. Since the, since the you can't tell, you of can't tell job, me that. Since the yes, of the of job, job, administration yes, started given, it. given support. It may not be enough. Uh, due, uh, good Lord Jonathan's administration increases. And this present administration as well. As but you know that the transformation farmers. of the agricultural sector, so that the world of agriculture minister, Akiwumi Adeshin or then, which is now the same person, Nigerians will stop thinking of agriculture just as means of livelihood. But as more as a business, it makes it become something very important in the States. Agriculture during the administration of Good Lord Jonathan becomes a business. People take it as if you're not educated, if you are illiterate, you do what farming works. But during his own administration, he made it known to them that through agriculture, you can have your business. People. You can make so many things from it. People. Then that was when he started this exporting of what? He stopped the importing and made what? The exporting of goods. Even from there, this, we have the cassava, even in this which present, was made highly dead during his administration. His administration has done the same and, is, and, and even. But he started he it first. Both. He did more. He started it because he asked everybody to go back to what to farm. Because you can make it through the farm. Nigeria's economy can start from anybody. You can make it work. How you can make it work? And and also businesses under this administration have been given a lot of support. Small scale businesses. So also lot, under good Lord Jonathan's administration. That wants to go into business and doesn't have the means or the capital to start this. Present government has made for all that good luck, Jonathan's administration for them. Such thing also happened. That was when he started the program of U Win. U Win program in 2011. The youth enterprise with innovative in Nigeria, whereby there are 1,000 jobs they're giving for youths that are unemployed. So, viewers at home, you have heard the argument from both sides. So, it is left for you 
to decide on which of the government has done more. Till you come your way again with another edition of view on uh, this topic and videos, you can log on to our website on clevelandtv.com or like our page on Facebook, Clevland One, or Instagram, Clevland One. And if you know you want to advertise your business, you want to push your business forward, you want them to know your business in the whole world, you can log on to our website, www.clevland.com. Thanks for watching today's episode. I am Esther Olaluwa Sukomi. Ah. Perfect.